Proverbs 18.22 says, He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Proverbs 18.22 Those who find a wife are, and especially a godly, prudent woman, a proverbial wife, they are blessed by the Lord. Because if, if people are willing to wait on God and they are willing to say, you know what, I'm not going to go on some dating app. I don't need to do that. I don't need to force going on dates all the time. Lord, I simply trust in you. And right now I pray that you would prepare me for the best person that you have for me. Uh, not just someone good, but the best person that you have for me. Prepare me. And Lord, I trust in your timing. And I know that you are the um, omnipresent God. You are everywhere. You are the omniscient God. You know all things. You are sovereign and providential you desire to protect me and you are all powerful and at the right time you can move upon both our hearts to to meet at the same place uh, at in your time and when we pray that we will receive a um, as men we will receive a wife who is prudent and who is godly and who is a woman of virtue because we don't want someone who just is attractive in the flesh but is corrupt internally and then we basically ruin the rest of our lives by allowing external beauties which are fleeting to rule the day and then we get married and we're like wow what did i just do i just married a crazy lady or you know we want them to and we're all a work in progress we're all a work in progress but we want to marry someone who is a woman of virtue, who desires the things of God, who loves God more than us. Because if, if she loves us more than she loves God, uh, that's idolatry in the first place. And God isn't going to bless that marriage because, uh, that we, because one of us is putting the other on a pedestal rather than allowing God to be where he should be. And then both of us loving each other as we love God him because that's that's the direction we are to both come together and our main pursuit should still be to love god to know god to do god's will to live for his glory and so forth so when we receive a wife from god a wife that has come from god because we as men have stepped aside we have not gone in the ways of the world because there is absolutely nothing that says you need to date and date and date and try out new people and and um, you know, test, test the car, so to speak. I mean, obviously that phrase can mean a lot of things, but it, obviously if it's going into a sexual standpoint of, oh, I don't, uh, you know, you're going into sexual acts and whatnot w without being married, that is not at all good. It's very sinful. We need to repent of that. But if the ways of the world say, you need, you need to go out, you need to do this and that. But I tell you, it is the man who is willing to step aside and say, Lord, I'm giving it all over to you. Prepare me. Help me to be a man that can protect her. Help me um, to be a man that can provide for her. Help me to be a man who loves you more than her. Help me to be a man who puts you first, family second, and then my work third and the ministry third. Help me to be that man and to prepare me to be what she needs me to be and what you are calling me to be from a biblical standpoint as a future husband. And when we do that, and when we, when we have that faith to step back and say, you know what, I'm gonna work on myself, I'm gonna work where God has me, I'm gonna do what he's calling me to do right now, and I'm trusting that in the right time he will guide me to the right place, we will meet the one that he has for me, that is best for me, we will meet whether that he calls me at some point in the future to some sort of ministry or church event, or, or maybe I'm, I'm working out in the gym, or I'm all of a sudden standing in the line at a coffee shop, the Lord can work in any and all ways. He can take care of all of it. The question is, is we, do we truly believe him as single men and even single women? Obviously, this verse is directed towards those who receive a wife, obtain a good thing and favor from the Lord. Um, but likewise, a good uh, husband as well as from the Lord. And we need to just have that faith to trust God and to step back and to know that he is in control and that he has his 
best for us. He desires to bless us. And um, if, you know, marriage is in the call of our life, if he has given us that desire, which I believe that is a God-given desire. I know some people out there have desired to be married and haven't gotten married. But if that desire is one of wanting companionship for the right reasons as far as wanting to be married to be able to do life with someone else um, but to also help further god's kingdom and so forth then god will work it all out he'll work out the right place he'll work out the right time and he will work out the right person we simply need to do what we need to do here and now and we need to have the faith to trust and believe in him so may we give God our faith. May we give the whole situation over to him. Currently, I'm speaking to you as a single man right now. Uh, so this is not foreign to me. Uh, I'm going through the process as we speak. So if you're a single man, I'm right there with you right now. It's currently January, I think, 8th or something, 2021. So um, it is time right now to do what we won't be able to do later on. Because right now there is a purpose and there's meaning in our singleness and we need to figure out from God what exactly he is calling us to do right now within this given standpoint and season in order to not only be better prepared for when we meet her, but to also have done what was according to his will and for his kingdom that we wouldn't have the time later on to do. Because once we get married, our time gets cut in half. Once we have kids, that time that got cut in half gets cut in half and so we need to be wise with the time right now is, is god calling us to do videos like this is god calling us to to start writing and become a, a future author maybe is god uh, calling us to get involved in ministry and helping other people is god calling us to start up a business venture for him is god calling us to a new profession new career is he calling us to get a degree in something is he calling us to seminary we need to figure this out right now and listen to his voice and allow him to guide and direct us so that we can do what needs to be done and what can only be done in this season so that we will be prepared for our future wife who is going to be a blessing from God. She's going to be godly. She's going to be virtuous. She's going to be wonderful. And we're going to praise God every day for her and we're going to show our love for her each and every day. And so may we be mature. May we take the time God has given to prepare ourselves to be the husband that our future godly wife and prudent wife that has been given to us by the grace of, of God. May we prepare ourselves for her in order that we can be what we need to be as uh, biblical husbands who love our wives and build her up and build the family up into a closer relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ.